Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Abrams. I'm going to go over post-op instructions for your strabismus surgery. Eye patches or bandages are not required after strabismus surgery. Following surgery, start your Toberdeck straps, one drop to the eyes four times a day. That's breakfast, lunch, dinner, and bedtime for three weeks. A prescription with refills will be given to you or sent to your pharmacy. Try to take your drops at least three times on the day of surgery. Continue all glaucoma drops or other eye medications you have been on. You may use artificial tears as needed to lubricate your eyes and make them more comfortable. You may experience moderate pain following surgery. Take extra strength Tylenol or the prescribed narcotic as needed. Do not take other pain medications like Motrin or Aleve for 24 hours after surgery. Apply ice packs to your eyes for five to 10 minutes per hour when awake for the first 24 hours after surgery. Try to sleep with your head elevated on two pillows for the first 24 hours after surgery. This will reduce swelling. It is normal to have red tears and blood oozing from your eyes, especially during the first 24 hours. The eyelids may become stuck together. Use a clean, warm, wet washcloth to loosen and remove any dry blood from the eyelids. Your eyes will appear very red, and this may last for three to four weeks after surgery. It is common for one eye to appear redder than the other. Nausea is common after strabismus surgery, particularly in children. Narcotics can make nausea worse, and therefore should be used only if Tylenol is not controlling your pain. It is normal for your eyes to feel light sensitive. Sunglasses may provide relief. Your ocular alignment may appear very different, even worse, in the first days to weeks after surgery. The eye muscles must recover from surgery. A final result does not occur until at least six weeks after surgery. Do not try to judge your results soon after. Even if your eyes become perfectly straight, you may experience new or different double vision after surgery. This can last from days to weeks after surgery and rarely a few months. The brain must adapt to the shift in eye position and the adaptation takes longer the older you are. It is normal for your vision to be mild to moderately blurry during days to weeks after surgery. This is primarily due to inflammation, but sometimes strabismus surgery causes a change in refractive error. If you wear glasses, you may resume them as soon as you feel comfortable. Do not wear your old glasses if they have prism. You should have been prescribed new glasses without prism for use after surgery. Eventually, you may need a change in your eyeglass prescription by your optometrist or occasionally even an enhancement of your LASIK or other refractive surgery. New eyeglasses, eyeglass prescriptions, or LASIK enhancements after strabismus surgery are not covered by medical insurance and cannot be determined for at least four weeks after surgery. Call our office if you experience any severe changes in your vision, such as significant black spots, repeated flashes, or clouds in your field of vision during the first few days after surgery. Call our office if you experience increasing redness, discharge, and puffiness around your eyes during the first few weeks after surgery. Occasional mild infections develop after strabismus surgery and usually respond quickly to oral antibiotics. You may not resume contact lens wear until at least three to four weeks after surgery once you have completed your Toberdeck straps and your eyes are no longer red. Discontinue contact lens wear if you experience any discomfort. Do not exercise for seven days after surgery. After that, if you feel up to it, you may engage in aerobic exercise such as running, biking, and elliptical, or exercise and activities that do not involve lifting heavy weights, such as golf or yoga. Refrain from weight lifting with machines and free weights, or lifting of heavy items such as furniture for four weeks after surgery. You may take normal showers or baths, but keep both eyes closed and do not let water or soap get into your eyes for two weeks after surgery. Also, do not swim or surf or even go to the beach for two weeks after surgery. The beach poses a significant infection risk. Avoid for two week situations where dust or other particulate matter could blow into your eyes. Do not operate a motor vehicle till the day after surgery provided you feel safe to do so. You may resume a normal diet after surgery, but avoid alcohol intake the first night 
since the residual sedation will still be active. You may experience a sore throat due to the breathing tube that is used for general anesthesia. This will usually go away after a few days. It is critical that you follow up for your scheduled postoperative exams. <laughs>